hello friends so today we are going to create page for add new company name like this is inventory management system so when you are going to add new product on that time you need to select company this product is from which company so for that we need to give product companies dynamic so for that we are going to give this type of option like you can see we already give this type of option for unit and now we are going to give option for company so you can add edit delete company so first of all we need to create one table so here you can see this is our database now i am going to create table company name and here i need to take only two field one is id 5 primary key and here i need to give auto increment and here company name then where care and i am going to give 100 yeah that's fine now we have now this table company name and now we need to create page for add new company we have to give this type of same functionality like you can see this is for unit name page here we can add it delete unit so this way we have to add company name so we have to use same logic so what i am going to do i am going to create your new page in admin php file add company dot php so you can see here we have add company inside this add company i am going to open this add new unit php add new unit and i am going to copy this all code of this page and i am going to paste here because we have already this type of logic this type of code then why we have to write again again we have to use our smartness so i just copy and paste inside this add company page and now i am going to add this page inside our menu so i am going to open this header.php here you can see we have this add unit add new party we have all the menus I am going to copy and paste these things, add new unit here, add new company, so I bind here add company.php, now I am going to refresh and here you can see we got our menu, I click on this and I got this now we have to change only minor things inside our page so i am going to open this add company page this we have already this page now here we are going to change add new company here also adding add new company here in place of unit name we need to write company name here in placeholder we are going to change we have already this only we have to change minor things so our page will ready company name here also company for this message here for display company name then edit delete we need here we have to pass our table name so our new table name is company name so i am going to copy this paste here here we have to pass our column name so i am going to check in structure the same thing here we are going to change our page name edit company and here delete company here also we have to change our table name and our text box name and that is company name here also company name and here also company name this is our table name and this is our text box name and after displaying this this will refresh page automatically so you can see our page is ready because we have to just copy and paste now i am going to refresh this page now i am going to write here company name like oh 
we are not getting company name so now we are going to check why we are not getting company name first of all i am going to delete this record delete and now we are going to check so if you are getting this type of problem then maybe i pass here wrong value because here we have to pass company name textbooks name and our textbooks name is company name so now correct this now i am going to run again now you can see we have this company name here and yeah we have to check again if i am going to write this company name same time and save this should not be added second time because same company name it is invalid so for that we are going to check here but before that i am going to delete this record and now we are going to check that logic here okay here we have to pass company name now here i am going to write we can see we got this message because this company name is already exist so add company is done now we have to perform edit company and delete company so for this edit company we have to create page edit underscore company dot php so here edit company dot php inside these we can use this same code so i am going to copy of this add company page i just copy add company page code and here i am going to paste only we have to change here in place of insert query we have to use update query so now we are going to check that but before that i click on edit and here we have to fill this company name so you can see we got here id and according to this id we have to fill value here so yeah here i am going to take that id okay so i got id now here i have to write select query yeah now while dollar row is equal to mysqli underscore fetch underscore array and then dollar res now we need to take one variable company name and here we are going to fill that variable with value now we have this variable because we have now values inside this variable and now this variable value we are going to fill in text box equal dollar company name now we are going to check here here you can see our value is filled up now here only we need to change our title so here edit company here also edit company and now we don't need this message the company already exist here we uh, not need to check this company is already exist or not otherwise we cannot update our same company name record updated successfully and now here we don't need to display this so i am going to delete this div yeah here also we are going to remove some code up to this else i am going to delete and remove one curly bracket yeah that's fine now here we are going to perform our update operation so update company name set company name is equal to dollar underscore post company name we are going to fire this update query 
and we need to pass where id is equal to dollar id don't forget to pass this id and after this we have to forward on our web page so add a company dot php so now i'm going to pass here suzuki one yeah we need to change this button value is update so i am going to change that first update now suzuki one and update we are not getting message so we have to check what is the problem we have to check our table name company name set company name is equal to here company name now we are going to check again oh we can see if you are facing any problem in update query you can see record is empty <laughs> so now i am going to add new company mahindra then save so here i am getting this company name now i am going to edit that company mahindra one and now update still problem yeah it is updated so it is not forwarded over there so we need to check yeah now that's fine now again going to edit and mahindra 2 and update record updated success successfully and it will forward here so now you, you get idea that if you are getting error runtime then how you can solve it so this is working fine now and now we need to perform this delete operation so we need to create one page delete underscore company.php here first of all we need to include our connection file so i am going to write here our connection path then again we need to get id and now we need to fire delete query so mysqli underscore query here delete from company name where id is equal to dollar id and now after execute this query again we need to forward on our bed page so script type that star script and here window.location add company.php so here i am going to click on this and here you can see company is deleted so this way we can perform our company operation and now from next video we are going to add product inside this project from admin side so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again